Padres. Padres get their third choice. They said, hey, we're going to throw a ton of money around. Trey Turner, we love you. Sign. We love you, Trey We love Turner. you, Trey. We're going to make you the highest paid shortstop ever. We're going to take you away from the Dodgers, and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Oh, Judge, sneak attack, $400 million. Hey, we, we found got $400 that. Million. You want to play baseball in San Diego, Aaron Judge? <laughs> I like the no. cold. <laughs> okay, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Xander! You want a ton of money? Xander says yeah. yes. He yeah. said, I'll take that. 11 years, $280 million <laughs> for Xander to play shortstop. I mean, let's let's do the Padres for a side. couple years. Let's do the Padres side of this. Yeah, I mean that opening press conference. That was like the first question. Did they say where you're going to play? And he was like infield, and then he caught himself and he said shortstop. So we already got some, <laughs> already got some good stuff there, um, dude. Zan, and why did he not button it up? Why didn't he button it up? Oh, you got to leave it open. You got to kind of have the weird press conference. San look Diego. Like I'm people wearing were, a suit. people were talking. It's San Diego. Um, everyone's time. time. San Diego's awesome. That is really cool. Everyone's going to talk about Judge and, you know, the best free agency bet ever. The guy turned down 200 plus million, broke the home run record, got 360. We thought Judge was going to land around 300 million, kind of, anyways, and he lands at 360. Bogarts, I, I think people thought, you know, 150 to two, depending years and how you do the contract. He ends up at 280. He might be the biggest winner of this whole free agency that San Diego was hell-bent on getting someone, and they made him the someone. So, yeah, I, I know the, the the baseball writers online were doing the fun, like, well, San Diego's best shortstop might be playing second base. Uh, 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 their most talented shortstop might be in the outfield. And Machado could have been a shortstop, but he's one of the best third basemen ever. Um, don't care. Uh, they're going to put Cronenworth at first for now. Uh, and they've got a stacked infield, and Bogey's going to be in that middle of that lineup, hitting around 300, just doing his thing. Um, in the middle, he might hit seventh. Who knows? Put him wherever. Doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> God, 280 for Xander. Good for we, him. We, we have a great stat on our sheet here. Love stats. Because we have the Red Sox offer. Mm. So the Red Sox offer – allegedly or reportedly, excuse me, six years, 162. So the Padres offer him five extra years, 118 million more dollars. And the AAV was very similar. I mean, it's just the Red Sox didn't really want him, apparently. Or did the Padres just want him the most? I don't know what it is. But as far as like the shortstop thing, you know my take on this. Get nine shortstops out there. I don't care. That's what you want. You want the best athletes out there. Their defense is going to be great. James, you always said during the year, the Padres just make plays that other teams don't make. Yeah, now with the shift uh, not being allowed and and every person's got to play the position they're at, why not just have a bunch of shortstops all over? Put a shortstop at second base. There you go. And they can hit too. That's the thing. These aren't like shortstops that just pick the ball. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty nuts what they're doing. I, I saw a bunch of people, you know, we heard people saying, and, and Jake said it kind of jokingly, like, where are the Padres get this money from? And uh, the answer is so awesome. Same place where your owner could get the money from. They could all do this. And this is maybe Cohen bumping the needle, and the new CBA bumping the needle, and then, Who's, who, who owns the Padres now? It's like the son of the dude who owned the Dodgers way back when. Or the nephew or something. So, like, it's baseball history. It's He should move the team back east. That would be hilarious. Peter Seidler. I think his uncle or grandfather <laughs> was the one who moved the Dodgers to, Brook, to L.A. Are you talking about moving the Padres right now? Well, his, his relative owned the Dodgers right. and moved them from Brooklyn to L.A. So if he wants to, you know, continue the family legacy, move the Padres to Maryland. Jersey City. Jersey City mm. Padres. Yeah. Yeah. We got a spot. We yeah. got a spot. Padres fans so excited. <laughs> a week <laughs> and like five days listening to us talk about the Padres getting Bogarts. <laughs> We're talking about moving the franchise. 
11 years, so they'll have him until he's 41 or until they decide to just cut bait. It's funny, 11 man. 11 years is crazy. We thought, we thought the 10-year the contracts were done because they were for a little bit. And it's like, well, actually, if you're in the tier of good, 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 we actually would love to spread it out over 15 years. They, the Padres offered Judge apparently a 14-year. Or they were discussing a 14. They just want to spread that money out. The the MLB would have rejected that. The CBA. Well, whatever. you know how it works, Jim. By the time they get to that, then 20 million's like nothing. Nothing, yeah. And he's in and you know, Xander's earned so much, he's like, whatever, I don't care, keep it. Now the rumors. I love is, this team. I love the freaking San Diego Padres. Do you so have Tatis on the for. team? Do you have Tat the team that you're looking yeah. at that you love? You have him on the team? I do. Why not? Are you kidding me? Like, look, he's I on the get team. it, dude. Right. Like, he's fell, he, he's fell from grace. Like, I get it. Like, this, he's got, he's got to come back and perform, okay? He had the dumb stuff with the motorcycles going on. Then he has got the PED His brother stuff. just like, got in, like, a bad motorcycle accident. His did? His brother. Jesus. Well, our best wishes to him. I mean, this guy, like, yeah, he's got to earn back people's favor. But, like, you saw him play baseball, guys. Like, the guy is incredible. He's incredibly talented. He's going to come back. I think we're going to end up forgetting about a lot of the stuff. And you're going to want him on your team. I, I I can't sit back and say, yeah, the Padres are better off trading Fernando Tatis Jr. That's just – it's just not – I don't believe that. I don't, I don't see how anyone could. So get all these guys on the field together, all healthy. I think we're going to be looking at one of the more entertaining teams in all of baseball. I'm, I'm interested. Like, like, without to, a doubt. I'm just interested to see how big of a rush they are to get Tatis back. Because I think they're right now um, going to enjoy twisting the knife on him a little bit. All the Ooh. quotes that came out from Preller and, and, the, and the Padres when like he, they're like, Jesus, he needs to grow up. He needs to mature. If they're rolling and there's not a spot open, I don't, I, they probably will because he's really, really good. Where's he going to play? Tatis has said he's a shortstop forever. So that's, it's going to be very interesting when that, when that happens. Well, he doesn't have a choice in that anymore, to be I honest know, with I know. you. I mean, it, yeah. you already kind of don't have a choice in that. You can make your voice heard a little bit, but you got to play where they play you, especially when they give you that money. Well, on a, I, I think it's an upcoming episode of the Rose Rotation. We, Rose and I chatted with Bob Melvin. Rose did the mm. chat. I was right. I was sitting Rose right there the though. But uh, and he said, you know, Fernando said, uh, obviously, I'd like to play shortstop. Said all the right things. Would like to play shortstop, but I'll play wherever you tell me to. Good job. You know what? We're gonna Keep we're probably gonna be a little foggy on the day that he comes back from suspension. Mm. It's April twentieth. Ooh, froggy. Uh, Juan Soto is still the best player on the team. And Manny Machado can now opt out after this year or the next year and will opt out, seeing all the money these old guys just got. Yes. Is Juan Soto the best guy on the team? Juan Soto is the best player. Uh, what Manny Machado did last year, two-way compared to Soto, okay, kind of blew him okay, out of the water. Okay, okay offensively. Okay. When Soto, it, I, I, yes, two-way. He's playing third base instead of a corner outfield. But off, I just my point was more so. I think people are down on forgetting who Soto tr is when he's right, right because he. You're gonna get soured. a great Soto in 2023. I, mean, I think you, yeah, Soto's they're gonna see in. him. He's nuts. He's crazy. Get all those guys on the field. Yes. Get all those guys on the field. I mean, and like you, you kind of started there, Trev. Like let the rest will figure itself out. Compared to the Mets, this team's young. Yeah. And then look, you got your. Butt kicked by the Dodgers in the regular season, but then you beat them in the postseason. I mean, that's that's big going into next season. I still Huge. think I still think the Padres are going to go get one of these pitchers. Bassett is still out there. I don't know if they're Bassett in on, would be perfect. For I don't them. know if they're oh, in on Rodon, but maybe they were in on Judge. So they still need another pitcher there, especially because Darvish and Snell are free agents after this year. You want to lock someone up now, so you're not fishing for all that talent. Next year. And I, I think for the Padres, uh, you can, you know, the Phillies ended up laughing because the Mets and the Braves all season, they're in the race, they win 101 games. Phillies make it to the dance, they go to the World Series. But 
you know, they they told, <laughs> they flew pretty close to the sun. A, cu- a couple things go wrong with the Phillies at the end of the season, and they don't even make the dance. I think if you're the Padres, you're kind of laughing at the Dodgers. Like, hey, go you, go win 111 again. We'll see you in the postseason with Darvish, Musgrove, and Snell in our, in our meat of our lineup. Like, we'll dance with anyone. So I, I think they, they have that formula, and it's partially because – you know, we'll see where the Giants end up, but with the other team, the other three teams in that division not being too much of a scare right now, I think, hey, just play good ball and we'll be there in October. Well, let's talk about shortstops real quick with with how this affects the rest of the market. There, Turner's gone, Bogarts is gone. Now it's Dansby or Correa. I I said when Turner got signed, I said I that the Padres would probably go get Xander and then the Giants get Dansby just to because the, the options made for them, like the cheaper of the best, if they're the top four, I know there's a big, big difference between Correa and Dansby. I wonder if that will still happen. If it does, I'm going to feel good about uh, myself for being a genius. Mm. I don't know where Carlos Correa is going. And I don't know why it's so quiet. Mm. Is it that quiet, though? I mean... I don't know. Hand up. I When winter meetings ended, I stopped following rumors yeah. because now there's no, like deadline to them so they're kind of just annoying in my opinion what i've seen is the yankees are brewing up something big so that's not very quiet and that obviously is that my is, twins guys dude, are that is, out about it that is such bullshit because mm. whenever cashman and the yankees make a move it's not like it's as secretive as the braves but it's never like multiple days of it's either like the most secret or the least secret Yes. It's never been like you get a couple days of rumors. Yeah. What's so messed up is I, I think about these teams that make these offers and like don't get the players. Like you kind of feel bad for them. Like the twins are over here being like, Carlos, we love you. Please come play for us. Come on, man. Like da da da. And, and he's just like, uh, I guess. Anybody what, like- else? <laughs> that was, that should be, the, we should make that the meme. Like the, the kid in class that's like, me, 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 me. And the teacher's just like, <laughs> no, it all sucks, right. dude. <laughs> I feel like you know, the Giants, let's get some new the Giants are doing that right now, too. I mean, they even got burned by Heyman and arson. Mm. And like, <laughs> you, you just. Did you see my video of him walking for around? Him a little Did you bit. see my video of him walking around? Trev? Yeah. That's how he walks around all the whole four days. I, uh, sometimes Joel it really changes your it. perspective of like the man behind the tweets. It's eye opening to be like, Oh, that's why I always give my warning. Don't, don't yeah. just mute. You know, I, I texted you guys. I had a, a run in with Scotty B. Yeah. Scott okay. Boris, for those at home that don't know him as Scotty B. I was down in Newport hanging with my good friend. And Scotty B was out. And I thought about saying, hey, like, I'm I'm for sale. Like, you got you got some other guys. Like, if you if you need another one, like, let me know. But I didn't. I didn't go there. And he did mention a team to me, like, randomly. I was a little buzzed. So, like, mm. I'm not sure the context. But um, until he pays me, I'm not going to mention any teams. For who? Correa or you? He he does he have Korea? I don't think he has Korea. He does. That's why Korea signed oh, the short deal. He does have deal. Korea? That's why he signed the short deal last time. If okay. you we'll say if you if you <laughs> hey, don't become don't I didn't be, think I did not think I didn't think he had Korea, so I didn't even don't, put it together. But yeah, but he might I'm not be, doing he it. He might be using you. I have a team, but yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. He knows you're the only on, thing I'll say is he knows is, you got a mic. Dude. You have the best. You have the number one baseball show in the this world. This is how man. arson happens. <laughs> this is what he said to me. This is what he said. Did to he me. buy you dinner? He goes. He goes. No, this is after dinner, and I was with I was with, I was with Staffy, right? So <laughs> Matthew Stafford for those at home. <laughs> he comes up, <laughs> and he goes, "Hey, you, you're doing really well for yourself." And he like looks at me and goes, "Man, you look like you could still play." Mm. And he was buttering me up. Because then he mentioned a team, yeah. and then he was talking about he how he saw Matthew in, in high school, number 20. I know what you were doing, Scott. Wow. He tried to play the player. Yeah, I got wow. you, bro. Send a check my way. Dansby, Dansby and Correa is, is nuts. What the Cubs are supposed to be in on one of them, right? Remember, that was a thing. Um you got to wonder if Boston's going to bounce back and make a move on someone because it, it seemed like at the end they 
they wanted Bogarts for just a very different price tag. Um, and then the Giants, they're, they're kind of looking for a face of the franchise, which, you know, Dansby kind of looks like he could be Brandon Crawford's cousin and maybe pass the torch there with some some solid. I was going to say that, too. That was. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or, I mean, Correa, it, <laughs> everyone's kind of doing. Everyone's kind of doing a game of chicken. Like, who's going to go for this guy? This 28-year-old stud on both sides of the ball. He's got some WWE flair to him, and the Dodgers dropped the whole... I thought the Dodgers were going to be on in, in on him because they didn't make their move, and they came out and said, uh, I think the fans wouldn't like it, which I, I think they're just going to hide behind that one that they don't Dude. want Correa, and they'll just use the fan. We're, we're doing this for you guys. We're not going to give them 300 mil for you. We... That came out. C. Rose and I did a show, and both of my, both of us were like, "Dude, you think the front office they don't care?" And I was like, "You know what?" And Dodger fans wouldn't care either if he no. they got him on the team. And our comment section on that video was like, "I don't want Correa. You don't know the fan base. I hate that guy. Like it was crazy, bro. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I mean, if the Yankees get Correa, I will suck it up and root for. It. I, I if I had a vote, I'd say no, one hundred percent. And I I think Dodgers fans do feel that way. But I, I don't think the front office sh- should act on it. But Correa, the Dodgers don't do long-term deals uh, with free agents, and they don't uh, do Boris clients. And they publicly said they're not in on him. So, I mean, it would be really weird if they all that just, like, comes around. That, yeah, I mean, that, this is a team we haven't even really talked about. They haven't done much, and they are in the market for a shortstop. A lot of people will say, yeah, you could just move Gavin Lux there. But I believe they want one. And, like, I think we could see a dance be there. Dansby in L.A., a twinkle in his eye. Old Braves a reunion. beautiful man. Just got married. Yeah. Congratulations. Friend so, of the show. So Early we, friend so of the show. Loves. Yeah. Mallory. I wasn't going to dox her. On the US they're pretty famous. Oh. So it's like, they're like a yeah. famous they're kind of like couple. a sneaky, <laughs> yeah. sneaky big their famous wedding, couple. Their wedding photos were in People magazine, so... People Magazine. Winger was there. What's this magazine about? I used to love People Magazine, dude. No. Why? I think my, I think my grandma got it <laughs> you just at her house. On, you just had time on your hands. That's just called being an athlete. No, like you just when took I was a, a lot kid, of flights. My grandma got it. Oh. 